Do you wish you could load your quilts onto your quilting machine fast, fast and easy? You can. There's a product that's called Red Snappers. You can load those leaders in a snap. And this is how it works. This is the package that you'll get. It has several different kinds of pieces in it. Now the first piece is this rod. And this will slide into the casing on your um, frame quilting machine. Now it works on any kind of frame. It doesn't matter your brand. Um, it just matters that you have a leader and that your leader has a casing. And that casing works best if it's three quarters of an inch. That allows these to slip in, but not wiggle around too much. So you put three of these into each um, casing for a 12 foot frame. And that's what I'm showing here. Now, I have this screw here. It's called a dowel screw. And I screw it into the end of the rod that's already in there. And now I'm going to screw this next one on. And I screw them right up next to each other. Now those will stay together. They won't come loose. And then you can slide it right in. If you ever need to take them out, you can. Now they're very flexible. You can put them um, in here easily without having 12 feet, uh, the length of the table in the room to slide it in. And once you have that in, you are ready to clamp your back onto the machine. Now before I did this the first time, I added uh, measuring tape so that now I have marked leaders so that when I load my quilt, I can make sure that I, if it's a, a 70 inch back, I would come out here 45 inches and out that way 45 inches. Oh, that would be a 90 inch back and attach it right there and that will help me keep that square without stretching it. These are available for two dollars on my website as well. So it takes six. I start in the middle and sew it out and I do that on all three rollers. Once those are in, I'm ready to load my quilt top. Now, here's my quilt top. It's going to go on here. Now this is the center and then I would line up, these are the little pieces that you'll find in your package. And they are to help you uh, put your quilt in the right place and hold it in place while you put the bigger ones on there. So I would have found the, the middle of my quilt and I line that up right on the edge there. So I'm happy and I put that clamp there. And then I come out here to the end and add one more and do the same on the other end. Then I take one of the long clamps. Now this is the long clamp and most of the time one long clamp going from the middle out to the right and then another one from the middle out to the left will be enough. But if it's not enough, if your quilt is bigger, then there's another one that you can add that will reach all the way out to the end of your leader. Now you probably won't need those most of the time because most of the quilts we do aren't a hundred and 20 inches. So here, this is down. I'm going to put the clamp right on top here and with the palm of my hand, I'm just going to push that down. When I come to this clamp, I'm going to peel it off, but keep the fabric in the same place and continue pushing this down. I do that all the way out to the end and then I do that on the other side as well. And if you want more little clamps, sometimes they're nice to have these little ones to clamp things. So you can take that off or leave it, whichever you prefer. There's enough in the package that you don't have to take them off. But if you ever lose some and you come up short, then you can take them off and reuse them. So that is attached where the top goes. Now, if this was the back, of the quilt and I needed to attach it up here too. I like to lean over and do that on the table of the machine. Now it's nice that these rods are flexible because the machine is here but the rods can just bend up over it. I can push that out of the way and it won't be a problem. Now I bring up the center of this and I do the exact same thing to the top that I did to the bottom. 
I put my clamps on, then I come and I put the longer clamp, push it down with the heel of my hand, all the way out. You can see it's not too difficult there, but it holds them nice and secure. And I'm going to roll this up so you can see. You just put your tension on and it pulls it nice and tight and it stays connected. This would be connected with the other clamp and I'd be ready to quilt. It really takes that long and it's that easy. It's a great way to load your leaders in a snap.